Welcome back, copycat. Some work on the 66, finally. Stoked, it's kind of hard not to be excited. But here we are, look at this. Now, turn around here. Oh, you can't see nothing, it's dark. How sad, now just kidding. Look at that, boom. New brakes, new solenoid, new springs, new adjusters, new rubber brake lines, new brake lines. Go over on the other side. Boom, same thing. Yeah, it's like deja vu from side to side. Honestly, it took all that just to get it fixed, to stop. I just wanted to temporarily fix it and uh, get right moving in the garage and end up having us totally rebuild both uh, drum brakes, man. Not hard, it's not easy. Patience, for sure. Um, yeah, we even, we even got the goddamn, like, everything. I had to get everything. Where's the old one at? Look at this thing. Look at this thing. All right. I mean, that thing is one of the cylinders. I don't even know how that thing, like, wasn't even stuck. I'm surprised the wheels were still seized up on it. I traded for this car about a year, year and a half ago. Uh, took a year to trade. It sat in his garage for 20 years, I think. Uh, we don't, yeah, it's a long story. Forever trade, took a whole year to trade to get this car in my driveway. Um, but yeah, we got brakes under it. Um, and we'll get these drums back on it. Uh, we'll adjust them out, get the drums on them. Get the wife to come out here and help me bleed them. Throw the wheels back on them. And tomorrow, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get this go-kart moved, the table moved out of the way. I'm gonna start on this crap. Move all this out of the way. Yeah, as you see, I got some of the Mustang parts laying out here. Uh, get moved back in here. Maybe fire the old girl up and uh, back her in there. But this is the quick update on the 66. We got brakes now. Um, not for sure, sure brakes, but I think it's new under it, so they should work. Um, I mean, from the booster all the way down to the freaking uh, springs and the brakes. So, only thing that ain't new, um, some wheel bearings. <laughs> but, uh, actually I'll probably put them new in tomorrow too if they got them at Napa. Napa's pretty much had every part within 24 hours for me. Been really stoked about them. They really come through, pay, cost a few more dollars than getting it offline, but next day, man, you can't, can't argue with it. And they got good parts. So, um, I got by all my parts from Napa. Uh, most of that stuff's pretty common though. They still use drum brakes on a lot of the cars. Uh, Ford's real bad about keeping the same old thing, so it's a good thing and bad thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, well, I didn't see no point in making a, a video of doing it and showing all the wrenching and the cussing and fussing. Uh, I mean, CJ, CJ Ponies has about the best videos you can go out there look. Matter of fact, had to go back and pull them up, look up one, due for the fact that uh, I effed up pretty bad. Uh, and we get the light over here, you can't see out this thing on light. That's why we work around here, work to get dark. But I had a difference between that pad and this pad, and right there's the difference. It's just a little bit missing right here. I actually had. They packaged them two and two in the box. I didn't realize it. I thought two for this side, two for that side. Just come over here and threw this side on, went over. I threw, went through that side on. I realized they were different. And uh, right there's the difference. This they don't have a pad, and this actually a little bit of pad goes on the front. So uh, I had to come back over to tear this whole side apart, take the pad off the front of this one, put it over on the back of that one, and uh, do that. So luckily, there's a good video out there. Lots of good videos out there on YouTube for that stuff. So I didn't see no point in making a do-it-yourself type video. I'm doing it myself, showing you updates. You can either follow a build or 
you know if you want to learn there's a million other ways uh, I will tell you from my experience I uh, just don't think you're just gonna throw a part or two in and continue on something so we're setting your miles will just buy it all new it's so much easier um, so I started one part and just by the time I got done I was buying it I just ended up buying it all and make my life easier so uh, that's my do it self learn and I'd say it's probably gonna be that way for everything on this car so if you want to restore a car good lord if you just want to get back on the road like I'm wanting to do driving it's still gonna be the same I mean I spent 100 probably 120 bucks just in brake lines boosters uh, spring kits I mean it adds up all adds up so uh, at the end of the day I was playing to keep track of all this but just ordering a part every day you know trying to do it a little bit of time don't work um, if you know what you're gonna do I'm gonna have to go buy everything I just bought again double everything I did bought again for the most part to redo the back so but I'm just wanting front to get moved right now so and I don't have to worry about it when I go to do it so it's done right it's all new so it saves me some of the hassle later on but uh, yeah you want to see more on this build maybe some better daylight pictures uh, like, subscribe, leave me a comment.